welcome to Caleb's Trains. On today's video, uh, me and Caleb are going to be doing layout rebuild update number 10. Wow, number 10. I know, <laughs> 10 updates so far on this rebuild um, and a lot of work behind the scenes to uh, get it to where it is right now. So, yep, we're uh, chugging along on the on the rebuild. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're getting... We're getting there. Um, like I said, Rome wasn't built in a day, so either was this layout. <laughs> yeah. So yep. So Many we're gonna weeks, weeks, and weeks. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna uh, go over uh, what we've been up to. I've uh, been working in the uh, on the turntable and in the engine uh, storage area. So we'll kind of go over that. Um, show you what we've been up to there, and, um, and if you've seen the thumbnail for the video. You've seen uh, Caleb looking over something really cool, mm -hmm. um, and we'd like to take a moment to thank uh, Dr. Joseph Russo um, for his kind, uh, uh, his generous gift uh, that he sent Caleb. Shout out to Dr. Joe. Yep, shout out to Dr. Joe. That was very nice of you. And mm -hmm. uh, Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go over that as well. Um, and uh, we're going to put a link to uh, Dr. Joe's uh, channel in, Down below. Mm -hmm. yep, in the description below. Um, he's a former O-scale or three-row O-scale uh, modeler. Uh, and he uh, decided to change over to uh, N-scale. So he's doing a, a, a new uh, build uh, N-scale. So uh, uh, you want to follow along with that. I always find... Uh, builds uh, very interesting I love seeing how other people go about their um, uh, building of their layouts um, yep. love getting ideas and uh, whether it's N scale H O G mm -hmm. I love them I lo we love trains so mm -hmm. uh, big little small real whatever uh, <laughs> if it's on video we're probably watching it so yeah uh, so thank you dr. Joe mm -hmm. um, that was very nice of you. And Those cars are going to be very useful. <laughs> yep, and Caleb's going to get a lot of use out of them. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, other than that, we're going to have a run session after the update. And uh, hope you enjoy that. Uh, I want to thank all of our new subscribers. Uh, uh, we appreciate you uh, joining the consist here on Caleb's Trains. Yep. And... Um, other than that, there's no football. We got a week off, uh, so no no score predictions. I was I was off on one of the games. I was off on both of them. I'm not that good with it. You were real close on both games. Just was the winner and loser in one of them. We were both off, but that was the Green Bay game. Yeah, but the scores. You were really really close. You about nailed both scores perfectly. So <laughs> good job. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, other than that, I hope everyone's staying safe and uh, not getting too snowed in from the uh, snowstorm going through. I know we got a lot of snow, but uh, oh well, yeah. it is what it is. It's Jan end of January. What can you do? Right. Hope for summer. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> so anyway, I guess you're right. like I said, I hope everyone's staying safe. And other than that, you got anything you want to share? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. Mm -hmm. Smash the comment button if you want to ask us or tell us something. I love reading comments mm -hmm. and answering them. Yep. And also smash code and get it out of here. I don't like it. Get it out of here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's get to this update. Yeah. Happy railroading. All right. Bye-bye. Yay. All right, we're back. Here you can see the, got all the handrail stanchions painted and the handrail uh, installed. And uh, Caleb's gonna turn it around so you can get a better view of the uh, cab. Let's see, all the handrails are in both sides. And as it comes around to the cab, you can see we got all the windows in now. That's good. And the uh, frames, white painted uh, window frames are in as well. 
So that's done. The handrails are all done. There's a couple little detail pieces. There's a piece that goes on top of the arch right in the middle and that's like where you would connect um, uh, the power in or on the real one. I guess it would be like um, the insulator and that would be up there and that's where the uh, main power would come for the, the uh, turntable itself. Uh, it was missing. Uh, I don't know if it got lost in shipping or what but when uh, when we got it it was missing so uh, got the comes with the, the uh, light pull or uh, power, the utility poles there's two of them and we put one in there we were gonna run wiring over to it um, and we probably will I don't know what I'm gonna do with the top there uh, I reached out to uh, Millhouse uh, River Studio. Uh, see if I could purchase a couple parts that we were missing, but uh, they don't sell uh, those detail parts separately. He said so. Uh, we we're gonna have to figure something out if we're gonna do that. Uh, I might look for uh, um, a replacement, uh, something suitable uh, to do that. And uh, also on the wheels uh, down there, there's a motor and uh, gear, um, like gear reduction uh, details, uh, they were missing as well. So uh, again, I don't know if it was shipping from it being moved from one place to another. I don't know where uh, those got lost, but um, they did. And uh, so we're probably gonna look for something to replace uh, uh, those details. It has nothing to do with the operation. I mean. If I wouldn't point, if I wouldn't point it out, no one would even know anything's missing. But um, yeah, that's the two things that we're missing. So uh, we'll see uh, what we can do with that. Um, but other than that, the turntable itself is complete. Now we obviously got a, a lot of detailing and 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 what have you around it um, to do. But uh, that's the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but all the tracks are now powered up, even though like there's no engines on those, there's power to them now. Every track's got power. Um, what I want to do is we have power going to the tracks at all time. I want to put them on toggle switches so I can uh, shut them off. And we can also put like Caleb's uh, Lion Chief uh, locomotives in there as well and then flip a switch to shut them off that way because if you don't have the remote on then you, you know it keeps making that chirping sound um, <laughs> or it's running unless you use the app you can turn the sounds off i guess using the bluetooth app but not all your lion chief locomotives are bluetooth either right a couple of them are but anyway um leave a comment down below um anybody has any recommendations for uh toggle switches uh, that they've used and uh, like uh, to um, wire wire up these uh, tracks individually so we can turn the power on and off. Um, I've been looking. Uh, I've never uh, used any, so I don't really have, uh, you know, an idea of which ones are better than others. Uh, so let us know if, if, if uh, you got a... a preference on uh, which ones to use and we're also going to put right now the turntable we just control it that's an old Lion LDC uh, transformer it was that was my original one from my Chessie system uh, Chesapeake Flyer set that was my first train set um, and I've since converted the locomotive to AC so it run I can run it on our layout uh, but I still had the DC transformer and um, the turntable is controlled by uh, DC uh, so that's what we've been using and it works fine but I don't want it sitting up there either so I am going to get um, a switch so that you can just go forward and reverse with and that's what we're gonna mount we're gonna make a, a little like a, like a little control panel here with the toggles for the tracks and uh, the control for the uh, turntable um, that's going to be one of our uh, upcoming projects. I think that'll be fun. 
So, um, yeah, that's what we got done over here. Like I said, all the, that was a, a nightmare getting power to them tracks, but it's done. So we're good with that. Um, all of our switches on our track, even the one that leads into the uh, turntable, is now wired up and operational. Uh, we were using doing manually on that one, um, so I wired that one up. So uh, I think other than that, we've done little minor uh, tweaks uh, with the some of the track in that where we had to do a little shimming in that, and uh, we got well, we'll show you. <laughs> the diesels are back. Yeah, yeah, look at that. And, and, and there, Dr. Joe's uh, gift. Three spine Apple computer cards. Mm, some thermal. Yep, some trailer train uh, spine cars. Really cool. Um, man, really, really cool. Mm -hmm. So, so Apple computer. Yep. And then he has the colorful Apple symbol. Yeah, it's got the colorful, colorful Apple on it. So very nice. I mean, can't say thank you enough. Um, These yeah. are awesome. Yep. So and they're going to be part of uh, our modern train that we're running today. We're not all stuck in the 40s and 30s with <laughs> our trains. <laughs> um, so we're going to be running that. Um, but when we did put the diesels back on, um, we had a couple which kind of shocked me. Uh, clearance issues. Um, with, uh, with our, uh, 7361, uh, Union Pacific diesel. So we had to, we had a little bit of work we had to do with that. And, uh, and it's always good whenever you put something new on the layout to run it slow and make sure of all your clearances because you just never know. And that was the case with that. And we ran it slow and mm -hmm. we had a little clearance issue with one of our, um, uh, blocks that we have here for our bridge wasn't on this track, it was the other one, but we had to do a little little modifying and it was no big deal. Mm -hmm. Luckily um, the 1996 did not have any problems. No, and none of our steamers have ever had any problems with it, especially the big boy, which just shocks me that we always we, we always say, if the big, big boy can pass through something, everything will pass through it. But that wasn't the case this time, was it? No, maybe that should only go for steam engines. I guess so, because the, the the pilot on the 7361 was coming very close and kind of grazing one of our uh, mounting blocks for our uh, lift bridge. And it was no big deal. I just cut it, uh, trimmed it off, and, 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 you know, now we got plenty of clearance, massive amounts of clearance. Mm -hmm. um, well, like I said, we just, you just always assume if the big boy can, can, can pass through something, everything can, and uh, that wasn't the case. Uh, mm -hmm. So... New thing, if the 7361 can pass through everything, yeah, I all guess. the diesels can. <laughs> I guess, pretty much, uh, rule of thumb, just take everything slow the first pass or two just to make sure. Mm -hmm. So other than that, um, we're going to run some trains, what do you think? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Happy railroading.
Thank <laughs> you. 